enjoys playing clarinet and tenor sax. He has won the Louis Armstrong Jazz Award, also a, a director's award for band, and hopes to become a band director and musician someday. Next is Rachel Salatka. Rachel's a senior, plays in chamber winds, a member of the National Honor Society, has a varsity letter, plans to go to school in New York and study genetic engineering. Next is Tim Burr. Tim is a junior at Goodrich. He's the captain of the team. He is a wrestler, enjoys robotics and Boy Scouts, and he uh, uh, is undecided on career and college path right now. Rounding out the Goodrich team is Ryan Starsky. Ryan is a senior, plays chess, enjoys bowling, theater, tennis, youth and government, chamber singers, and National Honor Society. Will go to Kettering University and double major in mechanical and electrical engineering. Those are our players from Goodrich High School. Now, let's meet our team from the Challengers Kersley High School. There we have Phil Kautz. Phil is a senior, uh, plays chess, he's a musician, plans on attending Michigan State and studying cultural anthropology. Captain of the Kersley team is Brad Beagle. Brad is a senior, plays chess, and is a Green Bay Packer fan. Uh, next is Justin Eckert. Justin is a junior at Kersley, runs cross country and track, a National Honor Society member, plans on attending University of Michigan Law School. And rounding out the Kersley team is uh, Kevin Ormache. Kevin is a junior, enjoys chess and band, undecided right now on college and career path. Those are our players for High School Challenge. Our competition is judged by Julie Pritchett of Genesee Intermediate School District. Our timekeeper scorekeeper is Brandy Stoneman. Team, we're, teams, we're ready to go. Here are your rules for round one. I'll ask you a series of questions worth 10 points apiece. Player buzzing first may answer when I recognize you. If you're correct, your team scores the 10 points. If you're incorrect, the other team gets a shot at the same question. Remember, you may interrupt me at any time I'm asking a question. No point penalties for incorrect answers. However, at that point, I'll repeat the entire question for the other team. Good luck. Here we go. He might have landed on Guanahaki, on Watlands Island, or on Samana Cay. What explorer set foot on the New World? In a, um, Justin Kersley. Christopher Columbus. That's correct. <laughs> they can palmate, pinnate, or spatulate. What parts of a plant are they? Goodrich Tim? Leaves. Leaves is correct. <laughs> General Dreedel, Major Major, and Captain Yossarian are all Air Force officers in this satire about World War II. What is, what is Joseph Heller's most famous novel? Goodrich Tim? Is it Catch-22? Yes, it is. Quote, the preparation of radium and the determination of atomic weight form the chief part of my work, end quote. Who wrote this in her the... Uh, Brad Kersley? Marie Curie. That's correct. It's equal to one joule per second. Uh, it's equal to one joule per second and is the SI unit of electrical work. What is this physical quantity? Uh, Justin Kersley? Watts. Watts is correct. For aerodynamic purposes, it must be made from the feathers from a single goose wing. If it is, it can reach speeds of 200 miles per hour. What is the formal name of this piece of badminton equipment? Uh, Kevin Kersley. The shuttlecock? That's correct. January 1st has been New Year's Day only since 1582. In which month did Christians celebrate the New Year for more than a thousand years? Uh, Phil Kersley. December. Uh, that's in. Uh, Tim Goodrich. April. Also incorrect, it was March. March 25th, in fact. Here's your next toss up. Hope is the thing with feathers that perches in the soul, and because I could not stop for death, he kindly stopped for me. What 19th century American poet wrote those uh, Rachel Goodrich? Emily Dickinson. That's correct. The 1887 story, A Study in Scarlet, introduced one of literature's most popular detectives. Who first, uh, Justin Kersley? Sherlock Holmes. That's correct. 
Violins have four strings. How many valves are there on a standard trump? Uh, Kevin Kersley. Three. Three's correct. In 1884, he became the first American honored with a bust in the Poets' Corner of Westminster Abbey, London. What popular poet wrote Paul Revere's Ride and the Song of Hiawatha? Justin Kersley. Whitman. Whitman's incorrect. Goodrich. Time's up. Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. Your next toss up. Fabulous riches were said to abound in this golden land. Um, Kevin Kersley. El Dorado. That's correct. Next to man himself, E. coli is probably the most studied organism in the world. What kind of an organism? Uh, Tim Goodrich. It's bacteria. That's correct. Plato tells the story told by Egyptian priests about an island empire. Uh, Brad Kersley. Atlantis. Atlantis is correct. Of the following four verbs, what is the only regular verb among them? Think, talk, run, or sing? Phil Kersley. Run. Runs incorrect. Goodrich Ian. Think. Also incorrect, talk is the correct answer. A regular verb forms its past tense and participle by adding ed. The other ones were, took different forms. Here's your next toss up. You've just walked five kilometers nearest mile. How far? Um, Justin Kersley. Three. Three is correct. He is sometimes called the Bard of Avon. Uh, Phil Kersley. Shakespeare. Shakespeare is correct. On January 26, 1788, Cap uh, Captain Arthur Phillip planted the British flag at Botany Bay. Uh, Phil Kersley. Australia. Australia is correct. In 2004, astronomers announced that its speed of expansion is accelerating. Uh, Brad Kersley. The universe. The universe is correct. Here's your next toss-up, teams. In Roman times, it was a small pebble used in counting. Today, it's the branch of mathematics that studies derivatives and integrals. Uh, Justin Kersley. Calculus. Calculus is correct. <laughs> the Peninsula Highway, Mexico 1, connects Tijuana and Rosarito uh, with Cabo San Lucas. On what peninsula? Uh, Phil Kersley. Yucatan. It's incorrect. The Peninsular Highway, Mexico 1, connects Tijuana with Rosarito with Cabo San Lucas. On what peninsula are they all located? Uh, Ryan Goodrich. In California. Say again? California Peninsula. More specific. Uh, Del Sur. Sur. Sorry, I can't tell you. Baja, California is the full name. That's what I needed. Your next toss-up. Only one United States president had both of his vice presidents, George Clinton and Eldri Elbridge Gary, die in office. Who was this unlucky fourth president? Phil Kersley. Time's up, Goodrich. Goodrich, Tim. Is it Madison? It is Madison. It connects with the Pacific through the Bering Strait and with the Atlantic through the Greenland. Uh, Justin Kersley. Arctic Ocean. That's correct. <laughs> Your next toss up. Male bees develop from unfertilized eggs and have only half the normal number of chromosomes. What seven letter word describes their genetic makeup? Uh, Justin Kersley. Asexual. That's incorrect. Male bees develop from unfertilized eggs and have only about half the normal number of chromosomes. What seven-letter word describes their genetic makeup? Time's up. It would be haploid. That's the word I needed. Hillary Clinton is not the first outsider to become a New York senator. What Massachusetts native won in 1964 and joined his brother Edward in the Senate? Justin Kersley. Teddy Kennedy. It's incorrect. Goodrich. Time's up. Robert Kennedy. Here's your next toss-up. It's Spanish for big mouth. 
and it includes the southernmost point in the United States. What is this island near Key West? Tim Goodrich? Boca Grande. That's correct. And there's the bell. That's going to end our first round of play. And as I see, Goodrich, you trail at this point. So that gives you the first crack at round two. That's our 60-second round. I'm about to give you a choice of three categories. Once you've selected, you'll have 60 seconds to answer up to 10 questions in that category. Remember, you may consult during this round. I'll take answers from Tim, your team captain. If you don't know an answer, you must say pass before I move on. We'll give you 10 points for each correct answer, a 20-point bonus if all 10 are correct. Once your 60 seconds is up, Goodrich, Kersley, you'll have 30 seconds to answer anything they missed, passed on, or didn't get to, and then we repeat the process. Goodrich, your choices for this game are Poe, Potpourri, Perfectly Scientific, or 11-letter words. Perfectly Scientific. Okay, to be perfectly honest, this quiz is all about science and math, and all the letters begin with P-E-R. Okay, for 10 points each, identify these perfectly scientific terms. We begin with number one, a line through a point P at right angles to line L. Perpendicular. Correct. Dmitry Mendeleev created the first one in 1869. Uh periodic table. Correct. H2O2 is hydrogen what? Peroxide. Correct. It's a plant that grows for more than two years. Perennial. Correct. The point in the moon's orbit where it's closest to Earth. Pass. Uh, the point in the Earth's orbit when it's closest to the sun. Pass. A ratio or a fraction expressed as a number over 100. Percent. That's correct. It's how your digestive system moves the food along. Pass. The different groups into which members of a set can be arranged. Period. Incorrect. The constantly frozen ground of the Siberian tundra. Permafrost. That's correct. You're through all 10. You have 6 out of 10 correct for 60 points. Kersley, remember, this is perfectly scientific. Uh, all the answers from that uh, realm and all of your answers should begin with PER. The point in the moon's orbit where it's closest to the Earth. Parallax. Parallax. Incorrect. The point in the Earth's orbit is where it's closest to the sun. Pass. It's how your digestive system moves food along. God. Pass. The different groups into which members of a set can be arranged. Yeah. Periodical. That's incorrect. Uh, the moon's orbit is closest to the Earth at its perigee. Uh, the Earth's orbit is closest to the sun at its perihelion. The uh, digestive system moves food along by means of peristalsis, and permutations are the ways uh, numbers in a set can be arranged. Kersley, po, po, pari, or 11 letter words? Eleven letters. Eleven, the number of men on a football team, the states and the confederacy. It's also the number of letters in each of these words. So all of your answers must will uh, be eleven letter words. We begin with number one, the author of A Winter's Tale and A Midsummer Night's Dream. Shakespeare. Shakespeare. Correct. It can be measured in degrees Fahrenheit or centigrade. Temperature. Temperature. Correct. This green pigment in plants makes or photosynthesis. Oil. That's correct. It's the science that every weather person studies. Meteorology. That's correct. In the Old Testament, it's between Numbers and Joshua. Past. The rebirth of classical art literature and learning in 14th century Italy. That's correct. This nonsense word is traditionally used by magicians. Abracadabra. Abracadabra. Correct. The awkward age between childhood and adulthood. Adolescence. Adolescence. Correct. This part of speech has a function, connecting words and clauses. Conjunction. Conjunction. That's correct. Between 1861 and 1865, it was the C in CSA. Confederate. That's correct. That's all 10. You have 9 out of 10 correct. Good, Rich. You're going to have 30 seconds. And remember, I am looking for an 11 letter word for your answer. And it is in the Old Testament. It's between Numbers and Joshua. Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy is correct. Sweet. 
And with that, we come to the end of round two, our 60-second round. We're going to take a little break to total up all the points earned there. But first, let me introduce you to some folks from Goodrich High School. Goodrich team is coached by Michelle Wagner and Mary Catherine Turner. Alternates with the team today are Amanda Richter and Stacy Benelli. We welcome all of them, and we hope to welcome you back for some extra credit right after this. Welcome back, everyone. We're ready to go after a little extra credit here at High School Challenge, but first, we want to introduce you to some folks from Kersley High School. The Kersley academic team is coached by Mike Skidmore, and the four alternates pictured here are Carrie Seitz, Tim Grant, Chad Mosier, and Katie Ames. We welcome them, and we welcome you back to High School Challenge for some extra credit. Teams, rules for toss-ups in this round are the same as round one. Difference here is that a correct answer earns you 10 points, Plus, it gives your team a shot at 10 points worth of extra credit. Remember, on extra credit questions, no buzzers necessary. I'll take the answers from the captains, and you may consult, but I warn you to consult on extra credit only and not on the toss-ups. When the bell sounds at the end, if I'm in the middle of a toss-up extra credit cycle, we'll play all the way through it before the game is actually over. Here we go. One early anthropologist dismissed it as the remains of some poor idiot or hermit. Another said it was the skeleton of a Mongolian horseman with rickets. What was this extinct hominid found in Germany in 1856? Uh, Phil Kersley. Neanderthal. That's correct. Yeah. Kersley, the, this shade of reddish brown is named for the 16th century Venetian artist who used it in his portrait of Mary Magdalene and his Venus of Urbino. What color is it? Maroon. It's incorrect. Titian is the answer. Here's your next toss-up. She is the voice of Lady Campanula Tot uh, Toddington in Wallace and Gromit, The Curse of the Weir Rabbit. She is the voice of the corpse bride in Tim Burton's Corpse Bride. Who is this English actress? Time's up. Helena Bonham Carter is the answer. Here's your next toss-up. These French kings had unusual and unflattering nicknames like the Fat, the Quarrelsome, and the, uh, Brad Kersley. Louis. Louis is correct. <laughs> Kersley, it's the enhanced response to an oscillating system when it vibrates near its natural frequency. What property enriches the sound of a musical instrument? Tone. Tone? Tone's incorrect. Resonance is what I needed. Your next toss-up. In 2005, the Nobel Prize in Physics was awarded for the development of a new kind of laser. What does the acronym LASER, L-A-S-E-R, stand for? Time's up. It is Light Amplification by Stimulated Emission of Radiation. Right at the tip of all your tongues. Here's your next toss-up. It's the nickname for the headquarters of the Google search engine in Mountain View, California. It's the number 10 raised to the Google po um, Goodrich Tim. The Googleplex? That's correct. <clears throat> Goodrich, evidence illegally obtained cannot be used in court. What is this legal principle called? Answer, please. No answer. No. Exclusionary rule. And here's another toss-up. In December 1941, Admiral Husband E. Kimmel was found remiss in duties and replaced as Commander-in-Chief of the U.S. Fleet at this Pacific naval, naval base. Brad Kersley. Pearl Harbor. Pearl Harbor is correct. <laughs> Kersley and... In 1212, Nicholas of Cologne led hundreds of boys and girls through Germany and the Alps on their way to the Holy Land. Almost all of them died on the way. What is this tragic expedition called? Oops. Oops is incorrect. Children's Crusade is what I needed. Your next toss up. It has 10 cities with a population of more than a million, yet 80% of its population live in villages of less than 5,000. What is this Asian country? Uh, Brad Kersley. China. China's incorrect. 
It has 10 cities with a population of more than a million, yet 80% of its population lives in villages of less than 5,000. What is this Asian country? Uh, Ryan Goodrich? Korea. Also incorrect, India is the answer. Your next toss up. It's been called worse than poetry, the lowest form of humus, earthy wit that everyone digs. That's four in one sentence. What is this play on words? T.M. Goodrich. A pun? A pun is correct. Goodrich, what Hemingway, what Hemingway title completes this quotation from John Donne's Devotions? Any man's death diminishes me because I am involved with mankind and therefore never send to know what? Answer, please. You've not got a clue. For whom the bell tolls. Oh, okay. Here's your next toss-up. The River Styx, the Gumby Trough, and the Clara Barton Crater are all features of this nearby planet. Which, Tim Goodrich? Mars? It's incorrect. Uh, Kevin Kersley? Venus? Venus is correct. Kersley, the Mississippi would be captured, trade blockaded, and Richmond seized. What Civil War plan took its name from Anaconda. a... Anaconda. Anaconda is correct. <laughs> it calls itself, quote, the sweetest place on earth, end quote. What is this Pennsylvania... Uh, Kevin Kersley. Hershey. Hershey is correct. Kersley, he painted hundreds of views of Provence countryside, especially Mount Saint-Vitois, was he Cézanne, Gauguin, Renoir, or Van Gogh? Gauguin. Gauguin? It's incorrect. It was Paul Cézanne is the correct answer. Your next toss-up. The model, the short, the long, and the rump. What English legislative body has been called by all... Uh, Kevin Kersley? Parliament. Parliament is correct. <laughs> Kersley, the mathematical study of rational conflict, it assumes perfect condition in which players are ideally matched and always make the best choices. What is this branch of mathematics called? Algebra. Game theory is the correct answer. Here's your next toss-up. It's, math uh, it's a mathematical curiosity, but the cube root of a particular prime number is equal to pi to three decimal places. What number is it? Would it be 29, 31, or 35? Uh, Kevin Kersley. 29. It's incorrect. Goodrich? Goodrich. Ian? 35. 31. That's the correct answer. Here's your next toss-up. This national park in California includes Mount Whitney and groves of giant trees. Which park is it? Justin Kersley? Sequoia National Park. Sequoia National Park is correct. <laughs> Kersley, Ushmal, and Chichen Itza were great cities that flourished from the 6th to 10th centuries. What Mesoamerican civilization built them? I think so. Incan? Mayan is the correct answer. Here's your next toss-up. We call day-to-day -day atmospheric conditions weather. What name is given uh, Tim Goodrich? Climate. Climate is what I'm looking for. <laughs> Goodrich, a point lies in a three-dimensional system with coordinates X, Y, and Z. Add the squares of the coordinates and take the square root of the sum, and, have you just de and what have you just determined about the point? Distance from the origin? Sure. It's distance from the origin? That's the correct answer. <laughs> and there's our bell. That's going to bring us to the end of our game, a high-scoring and well-played game indeed. Goodrich, congratulations to you on a game well-played. Best of luck to you in further competitions throughout the season. Kersley, to you, congratulations. You'll move on with a chance to move on to our quarterfinals, uh, and congratulations for that. For all of us at Michigan Television, I hope you'll join us next time for High School Challenge. Until then, I'm Jim Gaver. Have a great day.